it's coming close to the point where things are getting back to normal. Mm. So we're working towards a date around June. And uh, if Tyson is serious, which I think he, which I think he is, there's no way to come and fight the boss. And uh, I'm ready. I'm really looking forward to competition. All I want to do is fight, fight, fight. I can't wait to get back in the ring. I'm not optimistic. They've had all. They've had a full year to try and make this fight happen. Since the last Wilder fight, they were talking. Even before the Wilder fight, they were talking about the fight potentially between me and Joshua. They've had a full year to make something happen. It's not happened as of yet. So you know, it is what it is. It's uh, nothing's happened. We're no further forward today than we was a year ago. Hmm. If the fight were to not happen, why? Why? Why would it not? Because it, it's the way COVID is at the moment. I don't think it's got much to do with the fighters. It's to do with a venue, a date, a place, site fees. It's to do with everything but the fight uh, themselves. After things looking optimistic the past few days, due to um, AJ's social media activity. Here comes Tyson putting a down on things in this interview, telling us he himself isn't optimistic about the whole situation, that he doesn't feel the fight is any closer than, say, a month ago, two months ago, even a year ago, which is quite shocking to be honest. But one thing he does say is he does feel both fighters want the fight, that's both fighters being him and AJ. He said he doesn't feel it's down to the fighters if the fight doesn't take place, so... I'm glad we've clarified that he's admitting that he does feel AJ wants to fight and yeah, so yeah, that's good. Good to hear. Nice to hear. Surely he's not going to go back on what he just said, right? He just said AJ wants to fight. Surely he's not going to go back on that. He's a grown man, right? Yeah, that that would be ridiculous for someone to contradict himself in the same interview or within, the, um, within a couple of minutes. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Surely Tyson's not going to do that. Nah, he ain't going to do that. No, he's not. I'm not optimistic about it. One, I don't think Anthony Joshua wants to fight anyway. Don't, because he knows he's going to lose and he likes the fact anyway, that he's a professional well, boxer. And after I get finished with him, he won't be anymore. So um, that's one of the reasons I'm not optimistic about it. And the other one is there's just the, the COVID at the moment. Even though you say we're in a better place, yes, we're in a better place than we was last year. But not still not in a great place. The full country in the UK is locked down tight still. So it's uh, it's not looking very optimistic from where I'm sitting. Now, and if there was so many offers on the table from abroad, foreign countries, then where are they? This is a pretty strange interview. I'm not sure what Tyson's angle is. I don't. I'm not sure what he's playing at. I do not believe they haven't received any site offers, which is trying to imply. Where are they? That, that's ridiculous. You're telling me you've received no offers to stage an undisputed fight? Is that what you're trying to tell me? So what, um, Eddie, but, well, I, would, I wouldn't put it past promoters telling lies, but, so you're telling me what we've been hearing over the past few months, everything's been a lie, including yourself. You've been telling us promising things too. So you're telling me nothing's been happening? There's been no progression over the past year? It's ridiculous. This guy just spews a whole bunch of nonsense what is he talking about so you're telling me there's been no um, progression it's sounding to me like he's the one with cold feet he's the one with doubts about this fight taking place well not not about the fighting place about losing due to his quote-unquote inactivity because he spoke about it on this interview as well he, he kept on banging on about our uh, aj4 in december blah 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 and i'm still ahead of him and this and that the same stuff he was talking about before he spoke about it again Oh, and, and the, to the people that popped up in the, my previous videos, comment section, talking about, oh, Tyson is just playing mind games. You still believe he's playing mind games about inactivity? This guy is worried about the inactivity. He, it's not no mind games. You can't just rule everything. This, it, from, from here, from my perspective, I'm not going to give you no... I'm, there's nothing wrong with that from my perspective. If you said that, I would accept that. That's... You're your own man. You It's down to you to tell us how you feel. If you feel you're not prepared, that doesn't mean... Stop coming up with all of these excuses, trying to pour cold water in, into everything. Things have never looked as promising as it did yesterday. As soon as we got that news and that this guy is back with his, with his excuses. Listen, we don't want to hear it. Jump in the ring or not. All of these... these uh, He's given, what, about four different excuses, four different reasons why the fight's not going to happen. 
one aj don't want it to um covid free um inactivity um four the site the venue what, what, what's what's wrong with this guy do you want to fight or don't you want to fight i thought you said before the wilder fight you and frank warren kept banging on about oh when two people want to fight each other it's so easy to make the fights just get made and the fight happen well, why are you mr negativity now where is all that energy now why can't you apply the same energy here where is the posit positivity oh i don't think oh covid oh this that that listen all of these excuses tells me one thing you don't feel you're ready you don't want to have the fight that's what it sounds like it's not team aj's fault it's not eddie hearn's fault it's not it's you guys fault your team's fault why you didn't fight in december so don't want to hear none of that it's your team's fault how disappointing was it to uh it, to, to not fight in december it was very disappointing to say the least i put in like nine ten weeks of training camp i was in very good shape i've done all the sparring <laughs> i did everything that was needed for a, a fight and within like two weeks to go uh the, the plug got pulled on on the fight because of the there was a lack of uh, funds for one i'm hearing i'm hearing through the grapevine um um the internet through the grapevine that um Ajit Kabeo was offered 40 grand to fight you in december 40 grand <laughs> 40 grand offered Ajit Kabeo to fight for tyson fury <laughs> incredible so you can't you can't point no fingers when the fight doesn't take place if you, you guys can come up with the funds, well, well, you know, you're just gonna have to suffer the consequences or don't fight if you don't want to fight, like I've said so many times. Such a, I, don't, I don't get it. After he says all of that, he then goes and puts up puts up a tweet saying, oh, AJ, you whatever, you can see whatever, you, you can read it for yourself. Puts up crap saying AJ don't want the fight. You don't want the fight. We just heard what you said. You said they, they can't find a date. They can't find. They can't pick a date for the fight. They can't pick a date. June, June. Are you free in June or not? What do you mean they, they can't find a date? They can't find a date. Ah, <laughs> oh, Gypsy King. Any option. Home turf, Middle East, my back garden, your back garden. I don't mind where it is. I'm just ready to fight, fight, fight. I want that belt. I want to compete with Tyson Fury. So honestly, all options are open to me fighting words the guy's ready optimistic anyway like you said back gardens he's doing back gardens so yeah gypsy can come off all of that just you know let's get this fight on let's let's see this we all want to see this just stop <laughs> get rid of all your get get rid of that cold feet get over your fears and get in the ring let's see this fight simple as anyways wrapping it up here comments in the comment section below as usual let me know what you think of this um gypsy king his latest latest comments what you think of aj's comments do you think this fight is going to take place do you think it's not going to take place do you think it's getting announced tomorrow <laughs> monday next week never yeah put everything down in the comment section below and yeah don't forget to like subscribe notification bell click that so you know exactly what's going on yeah i'm out